How would you feel if you discovered that the water that you're using on your hair that is supposed to be hydrating and nourishing is slowly wrecking your hair length one droplet at a time? In this video, we're breaking down exactly how water is killing your hair growth and what can easily help you to combat the effects of this type of water on your hair to prevent hair loss. We're also discussing methods to identify if the water coming from your very own shower could be the hair killing water. Let's first get into the common issues that you may be having if your hair has come into contact with this type of water. See, our hair is made up of the protein keratin, which emerges from our hair follicles that are nestled within our scalp. These follicles undergo a continuous cycle of growth, rest, and shedding, influenced by genetics, hormones, and overall health. But here's the twist there's often an external factor which can affect the delicate balance of hair growth and it often goes unnoticed. It's the water that we expose our hair to. Certain elements in the water can potentially cause excessive shedding, itchiness, and even breakage. So how exactly is water killing your hair growth? So let's take it back to the beginning of my hair journey. I had always prided myself on my healthy hair until things suddenly took a nosedive. I noticed that my once vibrant hair seemed to be dulling out over time and my scalp was so itchy. I could not pinpoint the cause. I hadn't changed any products in my hair routine and everything was seemingly the same. Days turned into weeks of frustration as I battled intense itchiness and excessive hair shedding. Desperate for answers, I scoured the internet and stumbled across this forum of a girl going through something similar to me. Hair and scalp issues despite no changes to the hair routine. And she found that the cause of all of this was the water quality. It prompted me to do some more research into my area's water quality. And I found that my area is high in minerals in the water, which basically means that it's hard water. High minerals can build up on your scalp and block important nutrients from being reached to your follicles. So right now you're probably thinking, my hair has been doing okay. There's no way that my shower water can be affecting my hair. Let's take a deep dive into that. Globally, it is estimated that 60 to 70% of the water sources contain hard water. And in the United States alone, 85% of the country's water is hard. So you may want to test out your water to see if it's actually hard water or not. There are some ways that you can do it. You can purchase water hardness test strips from your local hardware store or online. Dip the test strip into a sample of your water for a few seconds. Compare the color of the test strip to the color chart provided that came with your test strip. The chart will indicate the level of water hardness in terms of grains per gallon or parts per million. So you've tested your water and you've come to the scary realization that you have hard water. So now you better prepare because all of your hair is going to fall out. Well, maybe not all of your hair, but just enough for you to notice a slight increase in hair shedding each wash day. Now that you've noticed that your hair is shedding a bit more than usual, your scalp is itchy, and you've pinpointed that you have hard water, do not stress as it can push your hair into an active resting phase which can in turn cause more shedding more shedding is counterproductive to our goal of growing beautiful long hair there are very simple things that you can incorporate into your routine to minimize the damaging effects of hard water on your curls the first option that you can do is to regularly incorporate a clarifying shampoo into your hair routine it helps prevent hard water buildup by effectively removing mineral buildup on the scalp and hair. I would recommend a shampoo that specializes in hard water buildup removal and one brand that I really like is the Malibu Hard Water Wellness Shampoo. I would recommend using the shampoo about once a month just to ensure that you're removing those mineral deposits that may build up throughout the month. You can use this more frequently or less frequently depending on the mineral content of the water in your area. For a more natural option, you can also incorporate apple cider vinegar rinses into your wash day routines. The acidity of the apple cider vinegar helps to dissolve the mineral deposits that build up on the scalp and the hair, making them easier to rinse them away, preventing the accumulation of the hard water buildup on your follicles. Just mix two cups of water with about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. After shampooing your hair, apply the mixture all throughout your hair and scalp and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Then rinse and follow up with a conditioner. To make it more effective, you can incorporate distilled water into this recipe and rinse with distilled water. This next way of reducing hard water buildup on your hair and scalp is actually one of the most effective ways. 
and that is installing a shower head filter which is designed to reduce the mineral content of the water. The shower head filter traps the minerals before they could come into contact with your hair promoting a healthier scalp and hair. Now the thing is, everything I just told you is completely useless if you keep on making this common mistake that is completely ruining your hair growth. Watch this next video to find out what that common mistake is and how you can easily prevent yourself from making this common mistake.